Hey guys, how's it going? Today, we are going to be going back to 1995. Do you know why this year is so significant? It's the release date of the PlayStation in North America. Now you can play all your new favorite games on your new favorite game system. Let's check it out. Here it is, Play Asia exclusives number 46, back in 1995. Let's check it out. All right, here is the limited edition box, and of course, on the back, we have the release number on a holographic sticker. Open this up. All right, so here's the soundtrack. Let's open this up. All right, on this soundtrack, it looks like we have 18 tracks. And we have a fold-out insert with some art, a very dark cityscape, and the disc. And here we have the numbered certificate, which matches the back of the box. And on the back side, we've got some nice, gory, creepy imagery. I love this really dark cityscape and this generic organic matter. <laughs> Lastly, let's get to the game. There's the box. Inside, we have some reversible art. Okay, the reversible art it's actually just interior art so here's the manual We've got controls about the game gameplay tips trophies a word from the developer pretty cool Again, here's that game card. All right, let's put this in. Back in 1995 is a survival horror game that plays just like you might expect from the PlayStation 1 era. So that's the tower. Guess I'll make my way there. It uses the tank-like controls from Resident Evil, where left and right rotates your character, up goes forward, and down goes backward. By default, there's a CRT filter set to soft, but you can also change it to hard, which will add additional distortion, or you can just switch it off completely. I think horror is a genre that can fit well into the PS1 retro aesthetic. Not too many genres can say that because it's really not so flattering. What the hell is that? There's something oddly creepy about the whole look and the camera angles. It feels like someone is watching you from a security camera. As far as those sluggish tank-like controls though, Sometimes I have nightmares where I can't move quickly enough to get away from something. It feels like I'm moving through liquid and I can't escape. This kind of emulates that same feeling in a way. The voice acting in this game is uh, just as bad as I had hoped for. Uh, hey there. Help me find a way out of this dump. Can't promise it'll be easy though. But something is up with the textures in this game and the way they scale. It's disturbing. 
And at first, I couldn't tell if this was intentional or a programming mistake, but sure enough, texture warping is listed as a feature. Oh, and of course we find painkillers in the toilet. That's almost a given in this type of game. Always search the toilets for food and meds. You know, these guys would probably be a lot scarier if they didn't look like the California Raisins. Keep in mind, this game does not autosave, so you'll need to periodically find one of the in-game computers to save your progress at. Back in 1995 was a labor of love. The developer wanted to recreate those memories of playing games on the original PlayStation and Sega Saturn. And I think he kind of nailed it for the most part, even down to the sound effects, like the doors creaking open or rattling when they're locked. These are all very familiar sounds to me. It should only take you about two to three hours to complete this game, probably quicker if you use a guide, which seems pretty short, but honestly, I think it's just the right dosage to get the full effect. So I implore you to get a full dosage of this game. I hope you do play until the end. There's a special message from the developer if you make it, and I definitely think it's worth the trip. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, I will see you later.